Welcome back, everyone. We continue with Heather Like, Athletic Director at the University of Pittsburgh here on Living Room Sports. And Heather, it's the $64,000 question right now. How do you successfully bring back college sports in a pandemic? Oh, that is a $64,000 <laughs> question that we've been spending about, you know, 64,000 hours uh, trying to come up with. Um, you know, it, there's not an art. I mean, you know, it, there's, we have a set of imperfect tools right now with regards to managing and dealing with the pandemic. Um, you know, we are doing all the proper protocols. We're fortunate to be um, a part of the UPMC um, expertise and experts here on our campus. Um, we rely on their guidance and, and counsel in many ways. Um, but, you know, we're bringing them back slowly, frankly, you know, in a very phased in thoughtful approach. Um, we've been quarantining student athletes when they first get here, very detailed, strict protocols. Um, but we are dealing with college kids. And a part of our world is, um, you know, lessons learned and teachable moments in everything that we do. So this is no different. Um, it's hard to say, hey, bring all the college kids back. And by the way, you can't interact with any other college kids. So um, that's a little unrealistic. So we are going to have some cases. You know, I think that uh, we're seeing that across the country. Um, I try, I think trying to minimize those and try to realize what we can do to prevent them, whether it's wearing masks and social distancing and really, um, you know, we have daily health questionnaires and temperature checks and testing and protocols. So we're trying to do everything we can, but it, it is challenging. Um, we're hoping that the Center for Vaccine Research here at Pitt comes up with that vaccine and uh, we're able to get back to a normal, but you know, we're kind of in a new normal and um, our student athletes are slowly phasing in and we're trying to take it um, at easy and, and bring the numbers back in a reasonable amount. Heather, you talked about a vaccine a little bit earlier. Is that the only thing that'll bring us back to some kind of normalcy with college athletics? And, you know, you mentioned the University of Pittsburgh. Do you keep tabs with the research department and where they are with the potential vaccine? Yeah, we, we cheer them on every day. We're, you know, we want Paul <laughs> Dupree and the Center for Vaccine Research to get after it. No, they're working incredibly hard. Um, yeah, I do believe that the vaccine is the solution to getting back to the new normal. Um, based on, you know, all of our medical experts and what they say, um, they will come up with the vaccine. It will happen. When and how long does it take? It, it's a little bit probably further off than we all hope. Um, but yes, I, you know, I mean, Coach Narduzzi and Coach Capel and Coach White and I, um, you know, made a contribution along with the Steelers and Penguins and, and um, Pirates to the Center for Vaccine Research earlier in the pandemic, really to support the effort because Pitt and UPMC is one of the only places in the country that actually has the live virus here in our biocontaminant facility. And that is a very expensive and costly endeavor to be able to manage. And so we wanted to support that because if anything's gonna get us back, it's going to be a vaccine. And so we have a lot of confidence in them and no pressure, but let's go get it. And um, we're really hoping that uh, we get to a place where we can you know, all be back together and. I think everyone misses the human interaction and, and, uh, and we all miss sports, obviously. So. Yeah. When it comes to vaccines, absolutely. Let's go pit. Let's yeah. go yeah. pit. Hell to pit. <laughs> hey, Heather, thanks very much for your time. We really do appreciate it. And we hope to see you over there in person with fans there. And hopefully we can get back to this quicker uh, as time moves on. But thanks for the time. Thank, thank you so much for having me on. And everyone stay safe and hail to pit. Thank you, Heather. We appreciate that. Also, thanks to Jeff Cable, basketball coach, Curtis Aiken, one of the best in pit history. Thanks to all our guests tonight. And be sure to join us next Friday night when we have another dynamic duo coming up here. This will be Brett Kiesel, James Ferrier. It's next Friday night on Living Room Sports. For Rich Walsh, I'm Bob Pompiani. Have a good weekend. We'll see you then.